Assalamu alaikum respected doctors welcome to my youtube channel mbbs and bds lectures today is the eighth video of rapid revision course of removable partial denture prosthodontics which is very important for nle exam mds as well as for final year exam in today video we will discuss about circumferential clasp its definition indication advantages disadvantages its design features and its type and each type in detail first we we'll start from definition what is circumferential clasp circumferential clasp or acres clasp is defined as a retainer actually it is a extra coronal retainer direct retainer a retainer that encircle a tooth by more than 180 degree including opposite angles and which generally contact the tooth throughout the extent of the clasp with at least one terminal located in an undercut area this is the definition of circumferential clasp mean it is a direct retainer which encircle the tooth by more than 180 degree and its clasp contact throughout the extent and with at least one terminal located in an undercut area now come to the indications we are circumferential clasp is indicated it is indicated in tooth supported removable partial denture for example kennedy class 3 and class 4 we are on both side of edentulous area natural teeth are present next advantages What are the advantages of circumferential clasp? It is easy to fabricate and design. It is easy to repair. It has less chances of wood lodgement. It provide excellent support, bracing and reciprocation. Now come to the disadvantages. It covers it covers a large surface of the abutment tooth, and there are more chances of decalcification of tooth structure because it covers large surface area of tooth. Abutment tooth, there are more chances of decalcification of tooth structure. It can change the morphology of the abutment tooth. It is difficult to adjust with flyers because of its half round configuration. Now come to the design features. in design features it is it always originate above the height of contour because it is a direct retainer it always originate above the height of contour and the retentive arm should extend cervically and circumferentially in a gentle curve the retentive terminus mean terminal should pass over the height of contour and enter the infra bulge portion of the abutment tooth to engage in a desired undercut uh, look at this figure this is the uh, uh, design feature in 16.16 desired feature of circumferential class in uh, blue there is a circumferential class which given on buccal surface and it's uh, uh, first what is height of contour the the bulge area on the tooth surface is known as height of contour and its terminal Uh, will engage below the height of contour in undercut area and its retentive arm is above the height of contour the retentive terminus should pass over the height of contour and enter the infra bulge portion of the abutment to engage in a desired undercut reciprocal arm this is the wide there is a reciprocal arm which are present on the lingual surface should be located on the opposite surface of the tooth and should be located above the height of contour retentive terminus should always be directed toward the occlusal surface and never toward the gingiva retentive terminus should always be directed toward the occlusal surface its direction toward the occlusal surface the terminal not toward the below to the gingiva mean it should bend toward occlusal surface retentive arm should be directed as apically as possible on the abutment tooth mean if retentive arm is directed more apically towards the root there will be more retention 
इट शुड टर्मिनेट एट द मीजियल लाइन एंगल और डिस्टल लाइन एंगल एंड नेवर एट द मिड फेशियल और मिड लिंगल सर्फेस मीन इट टर्मिनेट ऑन द मीजियल और लिंगल और डिस्टल लाइन एंगल नॉट ऑन द मिड ऑफ द बकल और लिंगल सर्फेस इट द रिटेंटिव क्लास should be kept as low on the tooth as possible because in this position it provide better mechanical advantage and also better aesthetic mean it should place more apically more toward the root of the tooth now after design feature of circumferential clasp come to the types of circumferential clasp there are 10 types of circumferential clasp number 1 is a simple circlet clasp a second is a reverse circlet clasp third is a multiple circlet clasp fourth is a embrasure clasp or modified crib clasp fifth is a ring clasp sixth is a fish hook or hairpin clasp seventh is a onlay clasp and uh, eighth is a combination clasp and ninth is a half and half clasp and last is a tenth is the back action clasp Now come to the types of circumferential clasp. Uh, types of circumferential clasp are described in the following heading. Number one is the simple circlet clasp. It is the most simple and versatile clasp design. Remember in MCQs, if if it is mentioned, the most simple are the most versatile clasp design of circumferential type of clasp is the simple. circulate crest it is mostly indicated for tooth supported partial denture tooth supported partial denture the clasp approach the undercut from e dentulous area mean from e dentulous area the clasp come and approach the undercut the retentive undercut is located away from e dentulous area mean the retentive undercut and abutment tooth is located away far away from edentulous area here the simple circuit clasp the circuit is uh, a simple circuit clasp come from edentulous area and engage in the undercut and the abutment tooth and the undercut and abutment tooth the abutment tooth is away from edentulous area look at the simple circuit clasp the blue is the edentulous area and from blue edentulous area it retentive arm come and engage in below the height of contour and the abutment tooth is away from edentulous area now come to the advantages of simple circuit clasp it provides satisfactory support stabilization reciprocation encirclement and passivity these are which are we already discuss in direct retainer video it is easy to fabricate it is easy to repair these are the advantages of simple circlet clasp now come to the disadvantages it cannot be used in the interior region owing to aesthetic reason due to aesthetic reason we cannot use simple circlet clasp in interior region if you see cues come which type of clasp uh, are not indicated in interior region due to aesthetic reason there is a simple circlet clasp it cannot be used in distal extension cases because we have already studied it is given in it is indicated in part tooth supported partial denture I mean it cannot be used in distal extension cases with the, we, where there is no teeth it cover greater surface area of the tooth it can be adjust uh, it cover greater surface area of the tooth there will be more decal spacing of tooth it can be adjusted only buccolingually and not occluso changeably this is also disadvantage now come to the second types reverse circuit clasp reverse now this clasp is reverse it is also called reverse approach circuit clasp the retentive undercut is located near to the endodontal area remember in remember in uh, simple circuit clasp the abutment tooth 
द रिटेंटिव अंडर कट इज अवे प्राइमिडेजुलस बट इन रिवर्स सर्किट क्लास द रिटेंटिव अंडर कट वेयर इट टेक रिटेंशन लोकेटेड नेक्स्ट टू द इडेजुलस एरिया मीन नियर टू द इडेजुलस एरिया फॉर एग्जाम्पल द डिजिटल अंडर कट मिजियो अक्लूजल रेस्ट इज प्रोवाइडेड मीन दिस इज अ मेन डिफरेंस बिटवीन रिवर्स सर्कुलेट क्लस्प एंड सिंपल सर्कुलेट क्लस्प इन सिंपल सर्कुलेट क्लस्प द अंडर कट इज अवे फ्रॉम इडेजुलस एरिया बट हेयर इन रिवर्स सर्कुलेट क्लस्प द रिटेंटिव अंडर कट इज लोकेटेड नेक्स्ट टू द इडेजुलस एरिया मिजियो अक्लूजल रेस्ट इज प्रोवाइडेड एंड रिटेंटिव terminal terminate in the distal undercut it is used in distal extension cases where the bar clasp is contraindicated mean reverse uh, remember uh, simple circuit clasp cannot be used in distal extension cases it cannot be used in distal extension cases but reverse circuit clasp it is used in distal extension cases where the bar clasp is contraindicated bar clasp is contraindicated where, where there is soft tissue undercut due to buco conversion due to uh, buco version of the abutment tooth or where there is a undercut area in edentulous ridge now uh, remember bar clasp is contraindicated in distal extension cases bar clasp is contraindicated is indicated where there is a soft tissue undercut due to buco version of the abutment tooth or where there is a undercut area in edentulous ridge now come to the advantages of the reverse circlet clasp it resists the torsional forces better mean torque it can be used in distal extension cases we are bar clasp is contraindicated it can be used we are bar clasp is contraindicated then we use reverse circuit circlet clasp it provide better retention and stability because of the location of the undercut because undercut is located near to the edentulous area disadvantages in cases where the occlusal clearance is not sufficient the thickness of the clasp is reduce and this may compromise the strength of the clasp mean in cases where the occlusal clearance is not sufficient and the thickness of the clasp is reduced and this may compromise the strength of the clasp and additional occlusal rest is needed next to the edulous area in order to protect the marginal ridges of the abutment tooth and prevent pooled lodgement between tooth and denture as the clasp run from mesial to distal surface as the clasp run from mesial to distal surface it give poor aesthetic and not is not used in premolars next is the wedging may occur between the abutment and adjacent tooth if the occlusal rest are not prepared properly there will be wedging now come to the next is the multiple circlet clasp this is a multiple circlet clasp now in a uh, multiple circlet clasp this is combination of two simple circlet clasp uh, look at the, this multiple circlet clasp is a combination of two simple circlet clasp join at the terminal end of the reciprocal bar join at the terminal end of the reciprocal arm it is uh, because uh, here is a simple circuit clasp this is simple and here the multiple circuit clasp is a combination of two simple circuit clasp joined at the terminal ends of the reciprocal arms it is primarily used to shear retention between multiple teeth it is primarily used to shear retention between multiple teeth it is indicated it is indicated when the primary abutment has compromised periodontal support remember if there is a uh, if the primary abutment tooth uh, primary abutment tooth are those the tooth which are near to the endodontal area where we take uh, retention from that if uh, there is a compromised periodontal support then we use and uh, with that first tooth we use second tooth this tooth will be known as secondary abutment if third tooth tertiary abutment uh, if uh, 
primary means the first to have compromised periodontal support then we give multiple circuit class because uh, this will be given on multiple tooth to remember multiple circuit class and it will share the stresses forces between multiple teeth because single teeth if single teeth is peri- uh, compromise uh, help compromise periodontal support mode of splinting periodontally compromised teeth by rpd it is a mode of splinting where we splint the teeth uh, by rpd splinting mean uh, um, mean uh, splinting uh, like we use a splint when there is a mobility in the teeth we uh, keep the teeth in a, uh, we tie teeth with each other uh, to prevent its moment uh, this is a it is a mode of splinting basically we do splinting by wire but here the mode of splinting per periodontally compromised teeth by rpd this is a multiple circlet clasp its disadvantage are similar to the simple circlet and reverse circlet clasp same disadvantage advantages like simple circlet and reverse circlet clasp now till that point if we have edentulous uh, we have undercut relative undercut away from edentulous area we give simple circlet if there is a uh, tooth supported uh, uh, denture we give simple circlet if there is a distal extension cases and the retentive area away from edentulous uh, near to edentulous area we give uh, reverse circlet clasp if the primary abutment tooth are periodontally compromised then we give multiple circuit clasp on multiple teeth uh, because it is a combination of two simple circlet clasp now come to the embrasure clasp uh, why is, uh, why it is called embrasure clasp because it is, it is given in embrasure area between teeth it is also called modified crib clasp like crib it's a uh, like crib it consists of two simple circuit clasp joined at the body it is also combination of it consists of two sim- simple circuit clasp joined at the body remember joined at the body look at uh, the body area but here multiple circuit clasp combination of two simple circuit clasp join at the terminal end of reciprocal arm but here in embrasure also is a combination of two simple circuit clasp but join at the body it is mostly used on the side of the arch where there is a no edentulous space when there is a no edentulous space because this is given between teeth embrasure area if there is a edentulous space there will be no embrasure area this type of clasp cross the marginal edges of two teeth and engage the undercut on the opposing line angle on both the teeth adequate to structure is removed for the buckle incline up both the teeth to provide adequate space for metal thickness of the clasp it is indicated in unmodified kennedy class 2 and class 3 cases it has two retentive arm and two reciprocal arm either bilaterally or diagonally opposite it may be possible to close a small edentulous space by modified embrasure clasp called a pontic clasp it may be possible to close a small edentulous space if there is a small edentulous space we can close by modified embrasure clasp this type of modified embrasure clasp known as pontic clasp because it act like a artificial pontic teeth next come to the disadvantages uh, frequent fracture of clasp may occur because of insufficient metal thickness two occlusal rest are necessary otherwise there will be tendency for poor lodgement or even separation of the teeth next is the ring clasp uh, this is a ring clasp because it cover the tooth in a ring like manner ring clasp this type of clasp encircle nearly all the tooth surface from its point of origin it is indicated on the tilted molar remember ring clasp are indicated in the tilted molar it is indicated on the tilted molar molars uh, maxillary molar tilted, tilted mesiopically and mandibular molar tilted mesiolingually 
द रिंग क्लस्प इज यूज वेन द प्रोगजिमल अंडर कट कैन नाट बी अप्रोच बाई अदर मीन इफ प्रोगजिमल अंडर कट कैन नाट बाई अप्रोच बाई अदर मीन देन वी यूज रिंग क्लस्प इट इंगेज द प्रोगजिमल अंडर कट बाई इन सर्कलिंग द एंटायर टूथ फ्राम पॉइंट ऑफ ओरिजन लाइक एन टिलटेड मेंडिबुलर मोदर इट अप्रोच फ्राम द मिजियो बकल सर्पेस एंड टर्मिनेट इन द इनफ्रा बल्ज रीजन ऑफ द मिजियो बकल सर्पेस रिवर्स इज सीन इन केस ऑफ टिलटेड मिगजरी मोलर mean there will be reverse condition because of its greater length the clasp require an additional support in the form of additional bracing or mean minor connector and axillary rest mean they required axillary rest and support in the form of minor connector here uh, there is a, a ring clasp with axillary bracing arm for reinforcement mean to reinforce for strength now come to the contraindications of the ring clasp when buccinator muscle attachment is close to the lower molar when buccinator muscle attachment is close to the lower molar then the ring clasp is contraindicated in cases of soft tissue undercut which must be crossed by bracing r next uh, come to the disadvantages uh, the first disadvantage is large surface area of tooth is covered there will be more decrease pressure next it is difficult to adjust and repair next contour of a crown is drastically altered because uh, per its um, adjustment and the tooth contour of the crown is drastically altered next is a fish hook or cr hair pin clasp this is the hair pin or fish hook clasp like uh, we use a hook uh, to catch a uh, uh, fish or there is a hair pin which are uh, used in the hairs which girls are used in the hair there is a hair pin uh, fish hook or c or hair pin clasp this type of c clasp is a form of simple circuit clasp which after crossing the tooth surface loops back into the retentive order cut below the point of its origin mean this is this type of c uh, clasp because it make a, a c shape structure uh it is a form of simple circuit class which uh, which uh, after crossing the tooth surface it look loop back it form a loop uh, which uh, move back to its point of origin from here it originate uh, it's move back to that origin area therefore they make a hair pin clasp shape hair pin clasp shape or fish hook or c shape because its shape is like c upper part of clasp is rigid look at there is a more thickness and the lower part is flexible this clasp design is used on the tooth with sufficient clinical crown height if there is a sufficient clinical crown height we give fish hook or cr hair pin clasp now come to the indication retentive under cut is located next to the indigenous area or adjacent to the occlusal rest then the hair pin is indicated mean the retentive under cut is located next to indigenous area are Ar adjacent to the crucial rest next in cases where bar clasp can not be used because of soft tissue under cut next in cases where reverse circuit clasp can not be used because of insufficient occlusal clearance next is the disadvantages uh, first is the large surface area of tooth is covered next it is prone to food lodgement third it result in poor aesthetic next is the onlay clasp it is an extended occlusal rest it is uh, on onlay clasp it is a onlay mean above the tooth it is an extended occlusal rest with buccal and lingual clasp arm indicated where the occlusal surface of one or more teeth is below occlusal plane when uh, they, they be because um, uh, um, our teeth make a occlusal plane when Uh, one or more teeth is below the occlusal plane then we give the onlay clasp and it is uh, restored with an onlay only clasp are indicated in caries resistant mouth uh, onlay clasp are where it is indicated in caries resistant mouth when there is no caries and next where the occlusal surface of one or more teeth is below the occlusal plane it covers the large surface area of tooth and may leads to enamel breakdown if Uh, the onlay is made up cobalt chromium alloy the opposing occlusion should be fabricated with acrylic resin or gold crown next is the combination clasp 
it consists of uh, it consists of flexible return tube or made up rod wire and cast reciprocal arm what is combination class in combination class the return tube uh, arm is flexible which is made up of rod uh, wire which present on curved surface and the reciprocal arm on the lingual surface is made up cast mean it is a combination of rod wire and cast therefore known as combination class a cast circumferential clasp should not be used to engage, engage the mesiobuccal uh, to engage the mesiobuccal undercut adjacent to the uh, the distal edential space because it tends to produce uh, damaging tor tor torquing torsional forces on abutment tooth in such cases the retentive arm is made up of rod wire which provide greater flexibility Now come to the advantages of combination clasp. It can be placed in a deeper undercut. It has, uh, it can be placed in deeper undercut. Why? Due to its flexibility of the retentive arm. It has high, higher flexibility as it can flex in all plane. It is a thin line contact rather than the surface contact, and therefore it is less caries prone because it has a thin line contact with the tooth surface. Now come to the disadvantages. It required additional step in laboratory procedure. It has a tendency to break or distort. It has poor stability or bracing property. Next is the uh, half and half clasp. What is half and half clasp? It consists of retentive arm originating from one direction and the reciprocal arm originating from other direction. Mean half and half clasp. it consists of retentive arm originating from one direction and the uh, reciprocal arm originating from other direction uh, look at there there is a reciprocal and retentive arm uh, both are originated from different direction but in uh, uh, in other uh, types of design the both of the clasp are originated from uh, one direction but here in half and half class mean half is originated from one surface and half from other surface the retentive arm is joined to the occlusal rest by minor connector on one side and the reciprocal arm is joined by another minor connector on the other side mean uh, the retentive arm is joined uh, to the occlusal rest by minor connector on one side and the reciprocal arm is joined by other minor connector on the other side in order to avoid large covered up to surface the reciprocal arm can be made in the form of short bar or axillary occlusal rest thus clasp design provide dual retention and is indicated in unilateral partial denture design remember half and half clasp are indicated in unilateral partial denture design last is the back action clasp it is a modification of ring clasp we already studied the ring clasp this is a uh, ring clasp it is a modification back action uh, clasp is a um, modification of ring clasp in this design the occlusal rest is left unsupported and the minor connector is given at the end of the clasp arm its greater greatest disadvantage is that occlusal rest is left uh, uh, unsupported and thus this design cannot provide adequate support to the processes this is all about um, this is all about circumferential class its design its type its advantages disadvantages now today our topic is finish in next video we will discuss about a uh, gingivally approaching class and its type in design now uh, If you like my video press the like button and share this video with your friends if you new to my channel subscribe my channel by pressing the red subscribe button and also press the bell icon in order to receive my each new video notification for watching my videos i am very thankful to you thank you very much